five minute video. Yeah. Five minutes to film it. You edited it in 20 minutes. Yeah. And it was up. We put it up right away. Which never happens. We yeah. always put a lot of effort into videos. We always hey guys. Yeah. Um, so it is quarter of four in the afternoon. Um, I am just watching a couple of older Obese to Beast uh, and Humorous Fitness uh, videos. Um, stuff that I haven't caught up on yet. Uh, as you've may or may not have noticed in every one of my descriptions of the videos, John is kind of the uh, inspiration uh, behind this whole this whole journey. Uh, he's one of the inspirations. Um, seeing him and I, I honestly don't know why it was just him because I mean you've you've read these articles in People magazine and all over you know Biggest Loser all that sort of stuff of people who drop tons of weight. And for some reason this guy just connect clicked with me. I don't I don't really understand it. Um, but I'm glad I'm glad that that it did and got me. Um, Got me started on this, and, uh, you know, we're down 112, 115 pounds so far, so, you know, cool stuff. Um, I wasn't going to do a video today, I was just going to do a supplemental, but I figured, you know, I am, I'm just, I'm, I'm in today, it's friggin' freezing out, and... Uh, I don't have any anywhere to be, uh, but you know lunch is going to be a little interesting. Uh, it's not going to be the basic chicken and all that stuff, so I figured I'd show you that. Uh, and tonight's going to be slow as well, so it's going to be a short one today. Um, uh, tomorrow is going to be a little interesting in that. Um, I am working with a band tomorrow night, uh, with my boss's band, and, um, I will, I'm gonna give you more details on that tomorrow, because I don't know all the details yet myself. So, uh, I'm probably gonna cook up lunch here within the next half hour, and I will show you what that is. Alright, it is just about quarter to five. And yes, I'm in the same shirt as yesterday because I'm a slob. <laughs> uh, so, I'm going to show you what I'm doing here for lunch. I'm about to cook it up here. Um, and something you have seen before, but it's not the chicken for a change of pace. Boom. Bison. This stuff is wonderful. So, macros follow out to two and a half fat, no carb, and 37 protein for a six ounce steak. Uh, and these steaks, you know, I've never actually weighed one raw, but uh, they probably do start out close to about six ounces when, uh, when raw. Um, but I know when I cook everything up, it ends up, it, there's, there's hardly any fat in these, and they shrink up a ton, uh, when cooked. Uh, another thing about this bison, it is bloody as all hell. I just, you know, it is a mess when, when opening these, these up. Um, so... I'm going to season this up a little bit, and I'm going to cook it on the good old George Foreman grill, because it's easy, uh, and say what you will about these things, they do a pretty good job. Um, just got to be careful of, you know, time and stuff, because controlling the temperature, you know, there's no precise temperature control on these, just a, just a little dial. 
Alright, so I'm going to start cooking these things up and I will, I don't know, my chicken with you halfway through or so. Alright, Foreman Grill is preheated. Oh yeah, I don't know if you can see that smoke coming off of it. Looks good. I'm going to try something different this time. Usually I grease it up a little bit, but it is a non-stick surface. So I put a crap ton of pepper. Uh, and just about a quarter crank of salt per side. Yeah, we got that nice sizzle going on. Alright. I probably should have let these sit out for maybe half hour, 45 minutes, and get them to room temp. Because they're probably going to seize up and get a little tough being so cold. Uh, but I'm going to let these things cook for about five and a half minutes. See, that's how lean we're talking about. That is a dry drip tray. Alright, bison is done. Beginning to regret my decision of not spraying this first. Um, but let me show you a little trick that I've learned to cleaning these things. Take a good thick, you know, like terry cloth washcloth. Nice and soaked. Makes me kinda of wish I had like a bipod or something. Tripod to put this uh uh camera on while doing this. Alright. So uh one sec. Throw your washcloth in the grill and just let it go. This will take, uh, usually you can do this for a couple of minutes. It helps loosen everything off. Then take your tongs and scrub the, uh, the grill. It usually works pretty well. So it is just about 5.30 in the evening. These meals of mine are um, beginning a pattern. I'm starting to eat later and later. I think I want to break that. Um, I, you know, I really should be strict sticking to my four or nine schedule uh, days. But I guess if anything, um, if there's any benefit to it, I'll probably eat less tonight than I normally would because I'll still be probably a little full from this. So, let me show you what the final outcome of this looks like. Final product. Use your words. Uh, Alright, so, we have 8.35 ounces, the two bison steaks. 4.5 ounces of the sugar snap peas. And one bag of, of 2.6 ounces of the baby carrots. So, a very familiar meal. Just different protein. It's gonna be good. Uh, I know I shot a lot of footage of you know during the process of making this, but I don't know. I just wanted to show it. Uh, all right, I will catch up with you guys uh, later on tonight. All right, everybody, it's quarter to ten in the evening. Just grabbing dinner later than I would have liked to, but oh well. Um. So, here's what I got. This is like a little Reuben wrap. There, in this, there is two ounces of corned beef, one slice of Swiss cheese, one tablespoon of sugar-free uh, Thousand Island dressing, and two tablespoons of sauerkraut. So a half sour pickle, um, and 5.3 ounces of chicken. So this all comes out to 424 calories. Not a huge plate of food for that many calories, but yeah, what you gonna do? So this is probably gonna finish me off for the day. Uh, I will update you uh, after I eat with totals and such. Alright, just about 10.30 in the evening. Finished eating that meal. I actually ate uh, a little, uh, not 
uh, all that chicken that I had on the plate here. I only ate two pieces. So that ended up only being um, like 3.4 ounces of chicken, I think. Yeah, 3.4 ounces of chicken. Uh, so that meal came out to only 365 calories, not 420, whatever it was. So, um, let me show you numbers for today. Very low on calorie today. Um, but, uh, I don't know. I was just, it was weird. I wasn't hungry until later this afternoon. And, um, I ate lunch later than I probably should have. Uh, so, let me show you macros. Uh, 21 fat, 32 carb, 13 fiber, uh, and 101 protein. So, little, little low on the protein. Probably should have eaten that other piece of chicken, but I, uh, I just wasn't full, I was full, didn't, didn't want to eat it, uh, so, uh, tomorrow is going to be interesting, um, I just got the confirmation, yes, I am, I'm actually doing a job tomorrow night, um, working, uh, the door at Jewel Nightclub, getting a head count for my for my uh, boss's band. Um so that uh that should be kind of interesting. Um he was telling me earlier tonight that I guess the nightclub was getting tons of calls. Um lots of lots of calls about um their show. So they weren't sure how many bartenders to uh, to hire for the night. Um, so it could be interesting. I down, you know, this was totally by happenstance, but I downloaded this little app the other day. Um, so what you do with this is uh, press the volume button, and it just uh, it was. I don't know why I downloaded it. I just I did the other day, and then my boss told me, you know, hey, we want you to actually find out how many people come. So, um, uh, so yeah, I'm going to be doing that for him tomorrow night. Uh, so it's gonna be it's gonna be kind of a long night because I'm gonna be getting at the club for 7:15 ish. Um. Probably closer to seven, just because I want to be punctual. Um, and I'm gonna be there till the end of the night, which could be probably is probably gonna be past midnight or so. Uh, and I have no clue. I I have no clue what the band is doing afterwards, since I'm part of the crew. I could be joining them for a bite to eat or something. I have no clue. Um, so. That is what's going on tomorrow. Um, I, uh, other than that, pretty slow day. Pretty slow and boring day. Uh, but you know, that's alright. That is alright. Um, we're still maintaining that calorie deficit, maybe by a little too much today, but still maintaining it. Uh,. This is day six, I think, into the 20-day cut. And at uh, 10 days, I plan on uh, weighing myself. Um, so we are... Uh, we're going to see how far I've, uh, I've come in, uh, in 10 days. Um, so that won't be for another... And that won't be for another four days, I think. Because I think, yeah. Basic math. Wonderful skill. <laughs> Alright, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will uh, catch up with you tomorrow.